Let's talk about Splatoon 2. We just got done this weekend with a Splatfest, which was a five-hour free event worldwide. And I want to talk about my thoughts on Splatoon 2 based on my experience with the Splatfest and based on additional information we have gained from just other people who have played who experienced things that I didn't. Uh, one thing I never experienced is apparently Splatoon 2 will temporarily block you from online play if you have repeated disconnects. So here's the exact message that the game gives you after you get disconnected. And then I never got disconnected, but it says your previous online play session didn't end naturally, which is pretty suspicious. If this keeps happening, we're going to have to block you from playing online for a while. Make sure your internet isn't busted and try again. And obviously that this is in the game to try to uh, fight back against rage quitters or uh, anyone who might be trying to disconnect on purpose to try to get a game not to count on their record, to not see their rank affected. Um, and obviously, you know, it's also going to keep out people who have bad connections. I, I don't really think this is a bad thing because if you're an unstable connection and constantly disconnecting, I'd rather you not be allowed to play because you're hurting everyone else who's trying to win. So... I don't actually think that's a bad thing. I, I think it's a good thing, and I like that the game's telling you, hey, look, something's wonky on your end. Make sure it's working before you play online. Makes sense to me. Uh, some people might be upset about that, but whatever. Anyways, let's just get into some Splatoon 2 talk. Now, I liked a lot of things with Splatoon 2, and I have to admit... It felt like more of the same. See, this is where the opinion that Splatoon 2 is basically Splatoon 1 with new maps and weapons. And I don't know that that's necessarily a bad thing if that ends up being the case. Because I want more of the same. I'm, re I'm ready for more Splatoon. Like, a Splatoon game is going to be Splatoon. It it's going to feel like a Splatoon game. Uh, so it's still going to be Turf War. Uh, the most interesting new mode that's completely different from the first game obviously wasn't in a Splatfest event. But I really liked it. Uh, you could tell that the visual quality was definitely stepped up. Everything looked crisper, sharper, more vibrant, more options to customize your character. Great stuff. I enjoyed that. Uh, there's one gripe I have. Well, two gripes. And one of them is probably going to be alleviated once the game launches, uh, depending on how they handle online play. So I didn't like the wait time in the lobbies. It felt pretty long in the United States. And I heard that... They were doing region-based online play. So when the game launches, assuming that they allow worldwide online play like they did in the original Splatoon, I'm assuming it'll be under 20-second lobbies every time, which is perfectly acceptable and fine. Um, again, I think this was just uh, the nature of doing separate rollouts for the Splatfest across the world. You know, when I started playing, the European Splatfest had just ended. So um, obviously once the game launches, that's going to be a totally different story. Everyone's playing Splatoon 2 at the same time. So that's something I'm not too worried about. But one thing that does suck is when you're in a lobby, you don't have the ability to leave that lobby until after the game so let's say you hop into a multiplayer match and you uh, are in a lobby with a team you can't you couldn't leave during splatfest it was really really weird um it's not that you know you obviously i understand not letting players quit during the game i mean the games are three to five minutes just finish your match and then quit but when you're in the lobby the fact you can't leave until after a game is really really wonky uh, and yes, you can manage a lot of things in the lobby. You, you don't have to leave the lobby anymore. You can change your loadout in the lobby. Uh, but there's a lot of times like maybe you're playing single player or you're playing, you know, just you putting put on random teams against other random players and you want to hop out and join your friends. Well, you got to wait till after a match to hop out. Uh, and that's kind of annoying. Maybe that won't be in the final retail version, but I have a feeling that the fact that that's how it worked here is how it's probably going to work in the retail version. And that bugs me. But... Beyond that, I don't really have a lot of complaints. Uh, I can definitely tell I haven't played Splatoon in a long time. Anyone who tuned in for the live stream will instantly be able to tell you I sucked. I wasn't playing very well with any of the weapons. Uh, I did start getting a little better, but a little bit better with the dualies towards the end of my live stream. Uh, mostly because I was starting to get the hang of the motion aiming after I knocked the sensitivity of the motion aiming all the way down to negative five. 
Uh, I suddenly felt like I had a lot more precise control, like I did in the original Splatoon. I think maybe the sensitivity uh, was a little too high to start, but it's okay. I mean, obviously, way too high because I have it on the lowest sensitivity setting. But uh, the motion aiming was fine. Again, a huge adjustment because I haven't played the original Splatoon in years. So it was a big adjustment for me to get used to it. But once I did, I felt like I was being effective. Um, I like the maps. I got to play four different maps. Uh, I know there was more than four, but I, I played the four different maps. And I, I thought all of them were excellent in their own way. Uh, I, I really had a great time playing this game, and it reminded me why I love the original Splatoon. And honestly, that's that, that's that's a big gripe for some people because it it's Splatoon. Uh, it feels like the first game, and I don't know uh, for people who are hoping that it didn't feel like the first game. I don't exactly know what they were hoping for because I mean you could argue uh, there are differences between every Call of Duty game, uh, but the fundamental gameplay of Call of Duty usually feels the same as the game before. Uh, sometimes it's a different setting, sometimes you have different weapons, but it's mostly the same objectives, the same type of gameplay. Uh, and every once in a you know, once every 10 years or so, there's like a massive changeover, big innovative aspect uh, that changes everything, like when Modern Warfare hit, or, you know, say for Battlefield, when Battlefield uh, 1 came out, like that was a huge shift in the series. Uh, that kind of stuff happens, but that's more of an, a, a rarity than a normal. Uh, even with Zelda, I mean, the last massive radical shift was maybe the Wind Waker, and uh, that was really just a shift in art style, not necessarily in gameplay direction. Uh, the you know the last major shift really was Ocarina of Time until Breath of the Wild came out. So, I mean, this is Splatoon two. This isn't Splatoon five or six. Uh, so. To expect a complete revamp of everything that Splatoon, 2, Splatoon 1 or was, I, I think is a little too much for my taste. I, I think I'd like this direction, especially since we have to consider that a lot of people buying the Switch never played the first Splatoon because they didn't own a Wii U. I mean, let's just be honest. Most consumers did not own a Wii U. So most consumers did not get to play the original Splatoon. So we have to consider that this is also a general introduction to the entire franchise for many, many new players. But that being said, I had a good time. Uh, it was interesting how some base strategies, because I played with some of you guys, some of you guys here on YouTube, uh, some of our fan base, we were on a team together, and, and I don't think we ever actually won a match. Or maybe we won like our very first match, I think, and then we lost all the rest. But it was very fun. Uh, I don't really have a lot of complaints. I, I think some of the new abilities are kind of cool once you get used to them. Um, obviously, with the dualies, I really like the whole targeting, uh, shoot the thing up, you know, the missiles up in the air, have them go down and kill them. You know, that, that was really nice. Uh, it, it was nice because it was easy to use, right? <laughs> uh, but I just had a good time. And... What I'm interested in are your guys' thoughts. I know a lot of you out there played this if you own a Switch, because it was free. Why wouldn't you? I mean, if you're available, you have time, you own a Switch, of course you're going you're gonna to play it, at least try it out, even if you don't think you're going to like it. Uh, just like a lot of people tried out the arms during the test fire. So I want to know your thoughts on Splatoon 2. Uh, I'm excited. I want it. I want to get it day one. Assuming I have the funds for it, I'm going to have it day one. I am so excited for this game. It's hard for me to stop playing. You know, when I had to leave the, you know, Splatfest event to take care of my kids, I was a little sad knowing that I got to wait like two weeks to even get my hands on this again. It, it's intense. Uh, it's probably the game I'm going to play the most out of all of the games released since Breath of the Wild. Uh, yes, that means more than Mario Kart and other games because that's how much I think Splatoon is just the bomb, man. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm going to be playing this game for at least a couple years before I finally put it back on the shelf just like I did with the original Splatoon. Anyways, I am Nathaniel Ruffle Jance from Nintendo Prime. Let me know what you think about Splatoon 2 down in the comments below. And you can subscribe for more videos. Hand me a like if you like it. And if you're already subscribed to our channel, I want to say 
Thank you so much for subscribing. I do notice every single one of your subscriptions individually. I get literally individual updates to my phone. So like when we have a day when we gain like 100 subscribers, yes, I have 100 notifications on my phone and I see every single new subscriber that has joined our channel because I think it's important for me to always be reminded of our successes and our failures to become better in the future. And I love knowing that I am creating content that people care enough about to subscribe to get more of. And I know lately, uh, some people have, have noted that uh, maybe I'm being a bit fanboyish. I mean, I am a Nintendo Prime, so <laughs> I guess that's to be expected. But uh, no worries. I hear you. I, I know I, I don't like fanboyism. I've been overly positive on Nintendo for a little bit. I do have some criticisms uh, to get out there. But uh, for now, we're talking Splatoon 2. And I hope you guys thought this was a fairly uh, well-balanced video because there's some things that excite me and some things that worry about me that i hope are fixed in the retail version can't be guaranteed uh i guess we'll talk about splatoon 2 again when the game comes out otherwise i will see you guys in the next one